everybody. Um, just want to do a um, junk journal share. Uh, I'm not entirely sure whether I'm gonna keep the book or put it on sale, so I'm still on the fence on that, but uh, we shall see, because uh, I really, really like it, so I might keep it. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, this is uh, Jung Journal, is pretty much a Van Gogh themed Jung Journal, and um, and the book that I kind of like uh, used as the cover is actually Shakespeare's Wordplay by M.M. M. Mahood, which is a old, I think, 50s, 60s uh, copy of the book, and um, as you can see, actually, like a lot of uh, like uh, termites or or silverfish is kind of like eaten into some parts of the book, and so I kind of like uh, recovered as much as I could, and the spine itself was actually a bit flimsy, I think, because of the open and closing over time. So I actually did do some double reinforcements within the binding of the book, um, and this is a the signatures are pamphlet stitched onto, uh, the, the I guess the inside pages and the spine, and it's done in a way that. Uh, you can't see it on the spine. So it's kind of like done and then you st I stick on the next layer onto it. Um, yeah, so uh, here we go. So this is Zhang, This is uh, Van Gogh's like, uh, portrait, I think. Um, and the printouts uh, are from Mrs. Cox's store. And I took quite a bit of inspiration from her, her book as well. So do uh, look at the link down in the description box below. And uh, what I did here was I did kind of like a crackle... Um, embossing paste on the side before I start this picture over and I think the and this is a Tim Holtz uh, 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 board that says that hope is never lost and here is uh, the first part of the book and the way that I struggled with the project a little bit was that I couldn't figure out whether or not I wanted to leave the, the, the cut parts as they were or um, for a lot of the digital prints, what I did uh, later on instead was that I kind of did like this kind of like multi-layered layering with uh, coffee dyed paper and uh, different like uh, materials as well really to give it like um, a uh, vintage look but it was uh, like kind of like a collage look as well um, which kind of I feel like it goes quite well with the theme. The uh, end papers are from Tim Holtz uh, uh, scrapbook paper and I kind of uh, stuck them down to um, uh, to give it like more like a vintage look, the book is as I said uh, before, is pamphlet stitch, and a lot of the pages here are coffee dyed. So there are lots of pages, about eighty pages for like uh journaling and stuff, and uh otherwise the rest would be kind of like in this like layered decorative sort of uh way, and I had these papers um. They were actually printed out of Van Gogh's work into 8 by 8 or actually it's 7.5 or 7.5. Um, I got it from like a online um, an store that, um, I mean the product was Chinese, um, as in it came from China. And uh, But the, the print quality was really nice, as you can tell, and um, it was entirely a Van Gogh the themed uh, um, uh, Kind of like scrapbook kit, if you will. Uh, on top of that, there were also like envelopes which I included in in this uh, junk journal, as well as uh, washi tape that I've gotten from there as well. Um, and the washi tape were all like Van Gogh themed, so I thought that was really really cool. So one of the things that I did, I kind of create this text, uh, and I uh, made them out of like um, uh, the sort of like collage uh, item and. A lot of the stamping imaged uh, uh, through the book, uh, mostly from Tim Holtz, um, Stampers Anonymous stamps, uh, and as well as materials, some of the materials you see here and there are actually from uh, Lee Channing's store. I'm going to put the her um, Instagram down below. She does sell in a very different way, so it's uh, sold purely through Instagram. Um, where she, I wasn't purely doing Instagram, but rather she will refer you to a pre-order website in which when she or uh, when there in there is a cycle of production, she would uh, ask people to raise for pre-orders. Uh, subsequently, um, when the pre-order period is over, then you can't buy anymore. So I guess it keeps her like production kind of like in, in a way that's kind of uh working with her timetable. So I thought that was kind of like interesting. I also had a lot of like French ephemera that I sewed into the book. This uh, mostly from the ones I've collected over time, um, like from Paper in Paris as well as from Postal Love. I also put their uh, Instagram down below. Um, I think Postal Love is still uh, doing some of her uh, vintage ephemera sales, uh, but I think Paper in Paris no longer does that as often anymore. 
So this uh, and those two platforms are uh, like uh, Instagrams do solely sell through Instagram. So it's kind of like comment on it and then she'll um, uh, like calculate it together and then she'll send you an invoice on, on in PayPal. So along with the kit also came like these really cool um, Van Gogh painting postcards. So I put that in as well. And so this is like one of the washi tapes, so you can you can see it looks really cool, really nice, um, and has all the cool uh, Van Gogh images. And I kind of fussy cut around like uh, Mrs. Cox um, uh, printables to like uh, make different uh, uh, ephemeras here and there as well. So this is another ephemera. So this is a one of uh, Van Gogh's painting, and then I uh, did some fussy cutting. And this is a one of the. Um, Postcards. It's a simple um, envelope, a glassine envelope from Tim Holtz. It's, re it's a retired line though. And one of the things I did was really to create this sort of like layered ephemera where you can tuck like write stuff underneath and also tuck more like photos or ephemeras into the, into this like kind of like a staple together sort of ephemera and uh, you're not going to be able to feel it on a camera but uh, one of the things that I tried to do also with the papers that were layering on that were a uh, different weight, different texture and that kind of adds the interest to the book as well. I also did use some stamps from Dinah Wiggly. A lot of the pages are coffee dyed, and this is a really cool Van Gogh painting. So you can use as like a Starry Night uh, washi tape here as well. So this is one of those things where I'm using like different layers, um, and all these layers and stickers are actually from the Channing store. Opens up here to be a nice place for more of this um, kind of stapled together sort of layering. Which I think it looks really cool actually. Um, and it really goes well with the kind of the entire feel and look of the junk journal. A lot of these uh, coat stamps are from Tim Holtz. Okay, vintage ephemera. I even have one that says uh, Masterpiece the Art Auction Game. And I think it's kind of like a kind of like a art game that um, people played in the past. Um, and this I got it from a kind of like a grab bag from uh, BBL and Vintage. So I'm gonna link that down below as well. And one of the things I did was I also went to look for some of the past letters that uh, that Van Gogh has sent uh, to his brother. Um, and or like his friend and uh, yeah and so this is some old Van Gogh letters I kind of printed onto coffee dyed paper which I thought it looks really cool and so I kind of put it into this nice vintage envelope and just like kind of like has a lot of space for like little tags and stuff um, and this is a Van Gogh painting Another tag right here. The stamps are like kind of. I just chose the stamp based on pure color. I didn't choose like no specifically French or anything. I just really like the whole interactive experience of like uh, different uh, the ephemera pieces, um, and that's why we produced here. And some of the images, I actually went on to kind of do like further collaging onto the uh, Van Gogh's images. So I thought that kind of like brought it in like kind of to life as well. And this is just a blank place for further journaling in this uh, paper that came with the Van Gogh theme scrapbook kit. And then I got made it into an envelope using the We Are Memory Keepers like punch board. And this uh, idea of like having further layering as well, again, with Van Gogh's work. This is the shoe that, uh, that Van Gogh painted, and I kind of fuzzy cut that up. 
Okay, that is uh, a, um, a postcard of the... I think this is probably the room in Owls. And I kind of really wanted to change kind of the book into a kind of like a hopeful expression. Uh, even though kind of like I did some like uh, subtle references to uh, Van Gogh's uh, eventual suicide. So you can actually still see like uh, images of guns here and there. Um, I think especially in this time when everyone is kind of trapped at home in COVID-19, I think. Um, uh, I have friends and even myself which uh, struggle from... Uh, from mental illnesses and I thought this is like I mean it's a little bit disappointing that the government kind of deprioritize a lot of these services because um, acute infection does probably kill you a little bit faster than depression does but um, I think uh, there also needs more there's probably something to be said about like um, the fact that I think society at large still doesn't really know how to handle uh, mental illnesses very well It's kind of an envelope, and then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I have like a image of Sorry Sorry Night inside. And this is just a coffee dyed paper. It's really, really nice for doing writing. This nice Van Gogh painting envelope came within the scrapbook kit. Yep, and that is the Zhang Journal. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, any questions, can leave it down below in the description box. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether this will be on sale. I'm still kind of like torn with keeping it because I really, really like this. And I think Van Gogh has been one of the uh, many artists that I really do identify with. Um, I think his, uh, his story and also his... Um, uh, and his use of colour to express a very emotive sort of state is something that... Um, I find it very um, interesting and I do identify with it like personally as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!